Hi everybody, it's David. It is January 3rd, Wednesday, 2018. Um, I just have a few hauls here. I went with my mom this morning. We went to a, um, it's like a church thrift store um, at the church we go to. Um, and I went to, where else did I go to? I went to the family, uh, uh, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's still like below zero here, so everything's frozen in my brain. Uh, and, uh, my mother had picked me up a couple things. Um, first off, I want to hope everybody's having a good new year. Uh, my last video, I think I told you a few things that were wrong here, so, you know, they're still, <laughs> um, and now my truck, um, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. It's running fine and stuff, but I have a 4x4, it's a small GMC, uh, 2007 Canon, so if any of you guys have husbands, ask them for me. I'm trying to figure out without going to the garage first. Um, the lights, you know, you have your two-wheel drive and then the four-wheel drive and, you know, the back and the front. And usually I just push the four-wheel drive if I want it in four-wheel drive if there's snow or whatever and it just, you hear, you'll hear it, you know, you have to go like at least 20 miles an hour or whatever it is and it clicks on, but it's been, it won't do either. Um, it's you know that drives fine and everything but it, the the two the lights flash so if i push the two or the four but you don't hear the clicking underneath you know when it's doing its thing i am such not a car guy so that's <laughs> why so i'm asking any of you guys if you know i brought the book in to look i haven't really found anything in yet i'm going to check online to see what the flashing lights are when i went to pick up my mom today to do a little shopping i went over some railroad tracks kind of hard not and uh, not hard enough to you know, make the engine fall out or anything, because we know how those railroad tracks can be, but I was like, maybe there's snow or something up in there, ice, that maybe, you know, it's, you know, holding um, something from clicking, so I don't know if anybody knows anything, you know, or their husbands do, just, you know, like I said, the lights are flashing, and it won't click over, so I'm not sure, I'm looking, looking at other buttons, and, you know, stuff, at, like, is there something I'm missing, you know? Like I said, it's like I like a pretty car, a pretty truck. Other than that, it's like I know how to go get the oil changed and stuff. But other than that, whoosh. but anyways, on to the haul. Uh, well, my mother got me a few things, um, a couple things. Uh, I have to say, uh, you know, my mother's, you know, she's kind of my best friend. I know that sounds sappy and kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> but she is, you know, I'm the oldest. Uh, I have a younger brother than a younger sister. Uh, my dad always, every time I call, he's, he always says it's, you know, I don't know if you can use this word on YouTube, but he always says it's your number one suck tip. <laughs> We're really close. I'm always buying her stuff. She's always buying me stuff. You know, we go shopping together at the thrift stores and stuff. But she knows, you know, I collect salt and pepper shakers. She found these. I think she found them at Kinney Drugs comes with a little basket and they're just little uh, acorns I mean I probably have 40 you know different sets of acorns you know but when you collect salt and pepper shakers everyone just a little bit different it's like oh you know so and then she found me this I have some of the collectible Barbies and stuff like that she's found me Batman I think she, she's like oh you know we'll go in your collection I do have some other characters you know kind of like the Barbie doll type this is um Batman, I think it's like the new, you know, from the new movie, I would think, Justice League. I'm not a big Batman person. I've probably seen the, um, the movies from the 80s and stuff, but she got me those two things. And then, let me see. I'll do my Dollar Tree before um, I show you what I got at the thrift store. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, because I was in the dollar store two days ago, I think, and, uh, they got some brand new stickers, and, ooh, they, they're pretty, you know, I just buy them now, it's like, I don't, haven't scrapbooked, I've, you know, friend, uh, done the friend mail thing with you guys now, I've, I put them in cards, I always have, you know, I love stickers like balloons and birthday cards, and just, you know, I buy the ones for the seasons and the holidays, and, you know, I sent, like I've said before, I sent out cards to my nephews, you know, little boys cards, and, you know, and then to my sister and brother too, you know, and I put like the turkeys or the Christmas tree stickers, and, you know, so, I like stickers, but they had some really nice ones, I picked up some batteries, you know, generic, because <laughs> I picked up these. I saw them there the other day. Um, the LED light strings, they're the hearts. I picked up two of those. 
Uh, I got them. I wasn't going to buy them. I saw them the other day, and I was like, do I want those? Well, I use them. And the, um, I'm working in a nursing home, and there's one lady that always does her mother's room up nice for all the holidays and stuff. And I saw I had bought mine. I bought two of them, actually. I haven't done anything with the other one yet. But I set it up for Christmas. It was in my living room. Ooh, probably the glare with the light and stuff. But I put a church in. This was at Michael's. I think it was original price. They were like $50. And then I had the 50% off coupon, and I was able to get two of them. So I think I paid $25 a piece. So I put the church in there. And she had done it for Valentine's last year, too. And she had some of these. And she changed the lights out with the, you know, she put, like, hanging hearts. And just, you know, she does a thing for every season now that she's had in the room. So that's why I picked these up. I was like, oh, you know, I can change it out. And, you know, like I said, now I put the little church in there I've had. I got a little, some little lamp post from villages or some people and trees, so, you know, for different holidays. And let's see. I know my videos are long. I think the last one was 30 minutes, and this might be too. But, you know, I'm new to this, so I'm not going to stop and go. I know some people break them up, but, you know, bear with me. You can always come back and watch later. <laughs> um, I picked up the foam stickers to get a hundred. I don't think I got any of these. I got some of the other ones with the jewels on them last week or two days ago. It feels, you know, you know how that is. It feels like a week ago. These are just plain. I thought they were kind of cute. You, get a, you actually get a hundred. And then let me see. I found these there. They had other ones too, like little robots and stuff. Uh, my mother, she loves monkeys and she had sock monkeys as a kid and we always, we buy her monkeys and stuff. Um, this is a, it's the wall art. It was in the Valentine's section. I've never seen it before. Um, there you go. It says, are you sweet? I bought one for her and I bought one for me in my craft room because I love you guys. It's like, you don't really, you decorate, but you don't. You just put things that you love. So when I get my camera in there and stuff, you know, you'll start to see, you know, things that just, you know, make me happy. You know, like I said, my favorite color yellow, so there might be yellow lights and just whatever, things on the wall. You know, I love how you guys just have, you know, things at your craft room. You have things you love and, you know, it's not like, you know, there's got to be this Monet, you know, or whatever, this great piece of art. It's just little things people have sent you and, you know, so... And now for the stickers. There was, I think I got them all. There was four new designs. They had some other stickers too, different ones, but they, you know, they didn't, I don't know. You know, a dollar does add up. And, you know, if it doesn't really catch my eye or, you know, I think I can put it in front of mail for someone that might like it. I'm like, you know, why spend a dollar just to have more stickers? But, you know, um, I mentioned too before I collect little bird knickknacks and, you know, whatever. I think everybody loves birds. But the, I saw this. This was the first one with the little... Uh, you can see there's a little bird cage there. They're kind of, they almost look like, um, I, you know, like I said, I'm new into the crafting, almost like a medallion that you can put in the middle of something, like in a, the middle of a card, you know, if you're doing, you guys, I think you guys call them rosettes or something, or, you know, if you're making your own cards. Um, here's one. These are all a mixture of kind of birds and butterflies. So some, some of them have um, birds and butterflies, and I think this one is just birds. That one had a mixture, and this one has, that one's just butterflies. So two are a mixture of birds and butterflies, and then two are... Some are pop-up, too, I think you guys call them, or 3D. I just love birds. I have two bird feeders on a shepherd's pole, shepherd's hook. You know, it has two hooks, though, right in front, you know, my kitchen window in the winter time. It's kind of, you know, my entertainment. If you're sitting there, if my parents are over, we're having a cup of coffee. It's just nice to see the birds come in. Free entertainment. Cheaper than cable. <laughs> I thought these were gorgeous. Like I said, they had a lot of them. I didn't see them the other day, so I'm not sure if you guys have got them already or if your dollar store is going to get them, but they're, you know. Um, now for my uh, thrift store haul, I saw these. I think we got them for, there was two of them, $2 a piece. I'm trying to get crafty like you guys and label everything and have like stickers and beads and, 
you know, whatnot, beads for, you know, if I make a pocket letter, I see you guys hang stuff, and I'm like, you know, like I said, I'm new to this, I've only done a couple pocket letters, so I got these, there was two of those, I think two bucks a piece, um, if they went to Walmart or something, I'd, they'd probably at least be eight dollars, so, yeah, and then I saw this one, in those thrift stores, you really, it's like you can go around 40 times, and, you know, there's something that you missed, you know, it's kind of like going to the dollar store, or Dollar Tree, you know, I found this wire basket. I'm not sure where it came from, if it came from Home Goods or something, but I can imagine if it was one of those high end stores, it's probably like 40 bucks or more. I think I pay, I think this was $2 off, though. Comes with two sides. So I'm trying to find storage that would fit on the bookshelf. Let's see. I got this little lamp there, too. It was only a dollar. I don't know if it works or not. I assume it does because, you know, the, there's a bulb in there and I'll plug it in later. But for a dollar, I was like, eh. I could have plugged it in there, but I didn't think about it. I like the shade. It's red. I mean, I got it for my craft room just to put in a little bookcase or on a table or something. It doesn't have to be plugged in. I have lots of lamps and lights, but sometimes, you know, you just find something. It's like, oh, um, I might try some uh, washi tape. Maybe. I'm not sure. I might leave it like that. I have no... I don't know yet. It's cute the way it is, but, you know, I see what you guys do to some lampshades and, you know, whatnot, so. I found this there, too. I have other ones. I thought these were cute, the little candle. It was only 50 cents. Um, yeah, the, the candlelight. You know, with the old-fashioned kind of um, candle holder. Yeah, you know. It's funny when you go to these flea markets and um, stuff like that, church bazaars, you know, what you pick up. <laughs> a little bit of everything, you know, stuff you don't need, but, you know, you have to have. Um, and I had one of these before. I told you guys I, I, I love to read anything with books, you know, fake books or whatever. I use them as accents and stuff. I found another one of these there. It's called Raggedy Recipes. This is just a wooden book. I got one a few weeks ago. I think I, I'm not sure if I showed you guys. It just says it has a title of Calico Kitty. Um, it's just a wood book that someone made. There's actually indentations in it. It's like, it's almost like it wants to open. I'm not sure what I've tried. I don't want to break them with the other one. I'm not sure if they just sawed it that way to make it. I'm not sure, but it's like, almost like it wants to push open, but it won't. So, you know, I mean, there's nothing in it, but it's like, it would be kind of cool if it did pop open to put stuff in there, but I'm not sure how. I mean, it looks like it wants to, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I bought this there too. It's a watermelon clock. I'm not sure if it works. I'll put a battery into it. Um, if not, I can easily take this out and you can buy a brand new one for five bucks. I actually think I have. Well, actually, I was thinking I have a clock. That's why I want to replace it. I have like a coffee pot clock. It's a new one. It's blue and yellow and it's got like the metal steam coming out. I think I got it at Home Goods or somewhere years ago. And one night, you know, when something like that happens, it kind of scares the crap out of you. <laughs> I heard this bang, you know, and you're laying in bed watching TV or whatever I was doing, and I go out, and, they, you know, I love the command hooks, but sometimes I don't know if it's the humidity or if it's the cold in the winter or you know, what it is, but sometimes they'll just drop, like even the reefs and stuff. I, th I You know, after a while, I've had stuff up for six months, and all of a sudden it would just drop because, you know, I'm, I rent here, so I don't want to put too many holes in the wall, and... You know, so I might just, if this doesn't work on this one, it's a little bit bent, but, you know, most of them are. When you get them like that, you just kind of refix them. But if not, I'll just take it out the other one because it still does run, but it got a big crack in the bottom where it's, the coffee cup kind of sits on the little uh, plate. So. I found these there, too. I have so many little tchotchkes. I don't know if I want to put these in friend mail. I'm not sure. I thought they were cute. Um, they kind of, they look like fairies, but they have little, looks like butterfly wings. I didn't know if I wanted to put them into friend mail or keep them myself or, um, trying to, the, oh, yeah, they're called butterfly fairies. I don't know if anybody collects these. If they do, let me know. Maybe they'll come in a, um, or if you just like fairies, maybe they'll come in a friend mail. Because I think they're cute, so it's not, you know, 
usually when I buy stuff for friend mail, it's stuff I like too, unless I know someone collects a certain thing, you know, I buy it for them, but, you know, like all of us, you buy stuff that you would like too, just in case it doesn't go out, or someone doesn't need it, or whatever, you know, you don't want to buy stuff just to, you know, have more clutter, I have enough, <laughs> but then there was this one too, it's called Best Friends, so if any of my friends collect fairies, or, you know, collect this brand, let me know, you know, maybe they'll be yours. I thought they were cute. I think I paid 50 cents in the original price on here, or at least from Myers. I think Myers is a drugstore. I'm not sure. Or, you know, they sell a lot of collectibles. This, it, this one was $22.50, so for 50 cents. And then the last one I thought was cute, this little one in a rose. It's a, like a little trinket box. It's a little baby. You can see the little um, butterfly wings. I put the tag inside, but it opens up so you can put your ring, you know, whatever. Uh, doesn't have a little anything on that one. And last but not least, I know I'm so disorganized. <laughs> you guys have everything like right beside you in a box, and mine's all kind of here and there. And you know, like I said a hundred times on my video so far, I blab or not blab, well blab too, but you know. I went to their, they kind of have craft section, it's just kind of like, it's it's not like new stuff, some of it can be new, but it's um, kind of jumbled, you know, they'll throw stuff together, it's almost like a yard sale, you know, kind of thing, it's like I said, it's the church flea market, if you want to call it that, so sometimes, you know, not, you know, so you kind of have to dig through it, but I found this, they only had the one stamp, it's called, it's from Michael's, actually, it says on the back, I just noticed, not that that matters, but, you know, usually they do sell better quality stamps, because I've bought some stamps before, where, you know, it looks good, but then you stamp, and it's, I don't know, just uh, kind of bleeds together, or, you know, parts of it. It's called Live, Be Bold, Have Fun, and Dream. I'm not sure if I'll use this one myself. I'm it, This one might go into a friend mail. I like the saying, but we'll see. I found these two. They're just little. I think that these were a quarter two. They're I think eight little hooks in there. They're different colors. Um, I figure if I make little keychains or something, I can use them. I'm not sure what what they what they're originally for, but they're little hooks that open up, or they're supposed to. Oh, there we go. They hook onto each other. So if I make little keychains or something like that. You know, I think I paid a quarter for those. Um, I just found that I thought that was kind of cute. It's just a little sewing kit. It comes with all these different needles, a little safety pin, this little threads, and buttons and stuff. I probably have like a hundred of these. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like I have different. Um, what's in the kitchen? I, well, when I collect something, I have like a hundred of everything. But the um, recipe boxes, I have old tin ones from advertising. I have. That's another thing I collect. If I haven't told you how much. How many different things I collect, or how you know? Um, I have all, you know, like ten advertising ones. I have just all kinds of different recipe boxes. I found these two. Um, they're just little picture hooks. The kind that uh, what are they? They're just called picture hangers. The kind that have the little hook in the front, or whatever. I, I try to hang some other pictures before, and it, you know I have different kinds, and I like these best. I found these little stickers too. I thought they were kind of cute. Um, it doesn't say what they are, but it almost looks like a little wedding theme, maybe. Um, this one almost oh, it is. It's like a little, it's like a heart box with the flowers coming out. This one looks like a little heart with the um, on a plate stand. You know, you have the collectible plates. Um, let me see. I found these two. I don't know if I'll really need any of these, but, um, Genie, or if any of you guys like them, I found these there. They were only a quarter. I mean, you know, for friend mail, you know, you can't go wrong. Um, they're pretty, but I don't know if I would use them for anything. Um, uh, they're just, uh, jewelry designer, um, four millimeter round pearls. You know, they're just little pearls. You can beat them or you can put them in. Um, whatever. So I thought those were cute. And they came with these other two little stones. You can probably tape these onto a pocket letter too. This one has like a rose, and this one's just a kind of a 
um, can't even think, old timey something you would see kind of in a castle. <laughs> but those were a quarter, so, you know. I'm always thinking of friend mail now, what other people could use for crafts and, you know, and the pearls you can use for, you guys call them like shaker cards or shaker, you know, because they're small enough or shaker, you know, the little um, uh, pocket letters, you know, I see a lot of people that do in the middle and they do a little shaker. Um, I also found these two. They were actually, they have a free box too outside. Um, they're patches. A lot of people don't really patch their pants anymore, but they're all different colors. You know, there's white, all different kind of jean colors and stuff like that. They were free. You know, it's never been used. I was like, oh, maybe I can use those on cards or, you know, in a pocket letter or something. Or, um, and then I found these old stickers. They're from, like, 1985. This one was single. I'm not, I don't think it came from this package. It doesn't say how many you get. They're from Hallmark. Um, just little lambs. I think it's um, Easter. Uh, let me see. Then I found this little, I love, I loved Care Bears. I found this little pack of cards too. That was for free. I'm not sure if they're all there. I have to count. I think there's 54 in a deck, right? <laughs> I haven't played cards in so long, but I think there's 54. It would be nice if I played, you know, to know. Uh, I also got some more stickers. These weren't there. These were just stickers I picked up somewhere else. They're all butterflies. I got four different ones. Uh, yep, yeah, butterflies too. Sorry for the glare, they're in their package still. Uh, and then I got this, was a quarter. I saw the little card, oh actually there's a, it looks like a postcard too, I didn't notice that, but it came in this little zipper pocket too. Even if you found this at the dollar store, hey, bucks a buck, so I only paid a quarter for it. It had these little cards. I've seen some of you guys use in pocket letters. I didn't really look at them all. But here's the little bag for a quarter. It's kind of cute, you know, just to put more stuff in. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where these came from. I don't know if you buy them at Michael's or how. if you guys can let me know where you get these little cards to put in pocket letters or put in the little pocket um, you know, like the baseball card holders, you know, things. Um, this one says, thank you for being you. And that kind of depends on who you're talking to because there's some people I work with. <laughs> I wish they were somebody else, but I'm sure if you've all met some people like that. Uh, <laughs> you make such a difference. Those are the same people. I wish they did make a difference. And this is what I wish they would do. Stay on the sunny side of life. Uh, let me see. There's this one. Actually, this just looks like a... It's just a two... F well, I guess it's just a tag. It says two from. Uh, this is uh, the postcard that came with it. It says, be so good they can't ignore you. But isn't it the ones that cause trouble that, you know, they're the ones that don't get the... <laughs> that they don't ignore. And then there's this. It's not opened. It's a uh, chapters collection for daily, daily use. Dotted journal. Organize your ideas. Homework. Sport. It says you can organize. It's not open, so I'm not going to open it yet because it might go into a friend mail if someone wants it. I have so many little tablets and stuff. It says on the back, it organizes into five chapters. Last page is deta detachable, and there's to-do list, and it opens perfectly flat. Hmm. It's a cute little notebook. It says it's like dotted lines, I guess, or something. I mean, I got that in there for a quarter. So if someone needs a new little notebook or something they can use, like, it's, like I said, it says it's the last pages are detachable and to-do list. So maybe that will go in friend mail or if someone needs it. Uh, yeah, those are my hauls. And... More, I say junk, but it's things I like. So, I mean, I think we all refer to our stuff as junk. I try, do try to, uh, we've been having some yard sales. You know, you try to get rid of some stuff as I bring stuff in. Um, and as I get older, you know, um, you try to 
uh, buy better quality, I guess. Even if it's from a yard sale or a church sale, you know, you'll see something, you know, that was a higher quality than something you might have bought at the dollar store. You know, stickers and stuff are one thing, but for, you know, everyday knickknacks and, um, you know, stuff like that, you kind of, as you get older, you want quality over, well, I, I still like quality, or quantity, I should say. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm a pack rat. But, yeah. Um... So, I, we try to get, well, I should say I do, but I have a yard sale with my parents. You know, you try to get rid of something. You try to bring better stuff in and things you love. As I get older, it's not just I don't run to the dollar store. You know, you might make a little bit more money than when I was younger, but, you know, um, you know, when I was younger, you would run and you'd buy these, you know, of course, the dollar store, Dollar General, or not Dollar General, Dollar Tree has got a lot better quality, um, whether it's knickknacks, because I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, you would get those god awful little china you know if you bought a knickknack or something like that a little china it almost felt like clay pasty you know like the paint would just you know so <laughs> i mean but you got what you got but when you're younger it's like oh you know i liked it or you know you wanted it because it was kind of cute but you know like i said um but anyways i'm rambling again um, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your third. Um, I see I have a couple more subscribers. Um, hopefully we'll exchange some friend mail um, and cards. Uh, my birthday will be coming up February 10th. Um, I'd I would love to receive um, some birthday cards and I would love to send you guys cards. Um, like a lot of you say, um, it's nice to receive uh, stuff in the mail rather, you know, that aren't bills, you know, in snail mail. Um, uh, I'm still like a kid like that. You know, remember when your grandmother would send you a card in the mail or something, you would always, you know, at least when I was a kid, you would ask your mother, oh, did I get anything in the mail? Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, but it was a thrill when you got a car, you know, a birthday card or, you know, whatever. So, um, I have a notebook now with friends I've made. Um, I need to write down their birthdays. I have their addresses and stuff and I have sent them, um, New Year's cards. I don't know if they, well, they probably got them, but I know they have PO boxes so they don't check them every day, um, with some stickers and stuff inside. But yeah, it would be nice to get some birthday cards from you guys and I would want to know, you know, if you're subscribed to my channels or if you're just friends, um, when your birthday is and, you know, if you have a PO box or, you know, whatever to send you a card and, you know, maybe some goodies inside or, if we become good friends or, you know, whatever, you, you know, you'll get a box of stuff. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, if you like my channel, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Um, what's the other one? I always forget. Like I told you guys, I don't edit my videos. I just put them up because if I watched them myself after, you know, it's like, I think, you know, we all hate our voice. It's like, oh, I sound terrible. I look horrible, whatever. I need to lose some weight. So I don't go back and... I just, you know, I might sound stupid, <laughs> but I don't edit, you know. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. That's it. Someday I'm going to remember that. I should get, a, you know, I should have someone standing here when they, you know, like when they do the movies and stuff with, uh, what do they call those cards, you know, where they tell you what to say. <laughs> okay. Everybody have a wonderful third and wonderful rest of the week. And I will see you next time.